Start by adding a curve circle. Select the two points across from each other, set the rotate origin at the cursor and rotate them slightly. Press G and Z to move them up a bit. Now set the origin to individual and scale to zero on the Z axis. Repeat this for the other two points. Navigate to your curves data tab under geometry and add a bevel depth. We'll also need to reduce the resolution. Next, add an array to ensure your chains have the correct orientation. If they don't, rotate with world origin enabled until the main chains link correctly. Delete the modifier and convert your curve into a mesh. Add a Boolean modifier and insert a cube into your scene. Scale it to cover the top of your chain link. Mirror it to the other side, using your link as the mirror object. Set the origin of your link to geometry and use Fast. Hide your cube and apply the Boolean. To fix the geometry at the edges, insert faces on the top and bottom. To smooth the sharp edge, simply smooth your vertices. Reapply your array modifier and set the X factor to 0.5. Increase the count to get a better look at your chain. Now, add another curve. It can be any curve. With your chain selected, add a follow curve modifier, select your curve, and set the fit type to fit curve. If your chain has weird deformation, it could be due to the deform axis being set incorrectly or your objects being in the wrong place. Make sure they are at the same location. Now it's time for the brushed metal material. Open a window and change it to the Shader Editor. Add a new material and include three nodes. Noise for texture, mapping for sizing, and coordinate to avoid any complications. Connect them as shown. Scale the noise texture on one axis using the mapping node and set the distortion to 1. If you connect it to the roughness and examine your shader, you'll notice values ranging from white to black. To narrow this range, add a map range node. By adjusting the two values closer to each other, you can fine tune the roughness to your liking. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below with the tip you'd like to see next.